Very good evening, everyone. I'm Shilpa and I welcome you all to the Siksha webinar. JE Advanced exam is happening this week, right? And our heart rates are, you know, quite high, but we shall sail through this is strong, right? So uh, JE Aspirant journey, a journey, a journey actually doesn't stop here, right? Uh, rather, it starts after the examination, when you have to select your dream IIT college. Uh, you need to have certain strategies for the counseling too. And today we shall discuss last minute tips for JE Advance and uh, IIT counseling and how JOSHA, that is a uh, joint seat allocation authority regulates seat allocation for admission. Uh, as a human, when an experience that seems relatable to us, we consider it. So why not to have an experiential conversation with our today's guest for the webinar, Shivam Mishra. You are currently a student at IIT Roorkee pursuing engineering physics. We welcome you, Shivam. Good evening, everyone. I am Shivam Mishra, and I am currently pursuing BTEC from IIT Roorkee. Okay, thank and you. I will, I will guide you today for James counseling, advanced, and all other peer queries. Okay, so before we proceed to the students, feel free to send your questions to me through Q&A box or in the chat box, I shall try to get all your queries answered after a quick discussion with Shivam. Moreover, you can raise your queries even after the webinar. The link I'm sharing in the chat box, you can have a look at it. Already several questions have been posted here by the students. Even you can post it. Coming back to you, Shivam. Yes, ma'am. You are an IIT and then you have been at this stage, I mean, appearing for JE exam and we know uh, we are stressed. So quickly, we would like to know based on your experience, the tips and the tricks for uh, this JE advance, and then we can discuss the counseling procedure later. Uh, so I want to just say that uh, just cool down yourself and uh, just believe in yourself what you have studied uh, in past years and believe in yourself and have confidence in yourself or just uh, give exams with uh, with your 100% potential and revise your, your syllabus. That's okay. all. Okay, that was quite quick and briefly you just told us what the mantra you actually did for appearing for JE Advance. Okay, so uh, related to the things you have shared, we have a question uh, has been asked yeah. by Kamiya and he's asking how to overcome stress during exam. So what did you do to overcome the stress? For overcome to the stress, like uh, last minute, me, आपको कोई test या mock test नहीं देना है अभी आपको और like आप क्या कर सकते हो कि जो आपने पहले कर चुका है उसको एक बार देख लें और घर वालों घर वालों के साथ time अच्छा खाएं और जो मतलब पढ़ चुका है उसपे confidence रहें और यही सोचिए आपका paper बहुत अच्छा जाएगा तो उसपे आपको tension नहीं लेना okay that means बस आपको मतलब आपको जो आपने पढ़ा उस पर निगेटिव मार्किंग भी करना और मतलब गलती नहीं करके आनी है ओके ओके सो शिवम इज एक्चुअली शेयरिंग हिज मंत्रा दैट्स हाउ ही क्लियर हिज जे एडवांस ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम शिवम लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द जोशा काउंसलिंग सो लेट्स डिस्कस इट स्टेप बाय स्टेप फर्स्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द प्रिपरेशन रिक्वायरमेंट लाइक प्री रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द कंडीशन and the requirement to be eligible to participate in JE Advanced 2022 counselling. And also, please do guide us about the seat allotment process. For seat allotment process, like uh, everyone who cleared JE Mains and JE Advanced is eligible for uh, JOSA counselling. And uh, like uh, J, uh, uh, we have qualification percentile for JE Advanced. So, jo log जे एडवांस के लिए क्वालिफाई होंगे जे एडवांस देंगे और उसमें फिर उनकी रिजल्ट आएगी तो जे जो सा काउंसलिंग का एक फॉर्म पहले वेबसाइट उस पर जिसपे रजिस्टर करना होगा हम लोगों को वहाँ पे फिर फीस पे करना होगा और वहाँ पे फिर अपनी चॉइस प्रेफरेंस डालनी होती है उस चॉइस प्रेफरेंस के अकॉर्डिंग सबको सीट अलॉट होती है जो जिस जिसके लिए क्वालिफाई होता है और वहाँ से सीट लॉक करने का प्रोसीजर होता है ये जो सीट यू आर जो सेंग दैट यू हैव टू बुक सीट्स एंड एवरीथिंग कैन यू जस्ट डिस्कस मोर इन डेप्थ Like man, uh, when the results are out and uh, JOSA counselling registration, first step is registration. So we have to register on JOSA counselling website. And after registering, 
वहाँ पे जैसे कि लास्ट ईयर के कट ऑफ के हिसाब से हम लोग देखेंगे जो कॉलेज या जो ब्रांच में मिल सकती है उसको हम प्रेफरेंस में डालेंगे और वहाँ से फिर सीट अलाउट होती है फर्स्ट राउंड सेकेंड राउंड थर्ड राउंड उसके हिसाब से फिर हमें सीट मिलेगी और अगर वो सीट अच्छा है तो फिर हमको फ्रीज करना होगा अगर मतलब हमारे पसंद का है तो फ्रीज करेंगे नहीं तो फिर उसको फ्लोट या फ्लोट करने का ऑप्शन होता है मतलब अगले राउंड में हम जाना चाहते हैं अगर हम कोई सीट लॉक कर देते हैं फिर हमें फी पे करना होता है और वो सीट बुक हो जाती है ओके सो द टोटल हाउ मेनी राउंड्स डज डज जोशा कंडक्ट लाइक इन माय व्हेन आई गिव द एग्जाम्स इन 2020 तो देयर विल बी सिक्स राउंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ कोविड एंड आई थिंक सेवन या एट राउंड्स आर हैपनिंग इन नॉर्मल नॉर्मल इयर्स ओके uh shiva actually i was reading about a few of the details related to josa counseling and i got to know about the mock uh, seat allocation can you just guide yeah. us on that there are two rounds of mock seat allotment in which uh, we get uh, like roughly idea of what college or what branch we get we all we have, everyone should fill that matlab fill that mock round mock round and uh, we we all get the rough idea of which college or which branch we get like that is 90 90 90% is absolutely right in that round okay uh, shivam we are getting so many questions related to je advance and also for the je mains so is it necessary to give an exam of je advance after passing je main is it necessary to give je advance after je mains yeah ma'am absolutely it's necessary and we also give je advance exam for like uh, it's a opportunity to, it's, it's a opportunity to give the je advance exam and we should give like we get an idea of je advance and exam about the pressure we get in the exam and we give this exam with 100% potential so we can check where we stand okay and uh... okay so uh, we do give je advance exam to get admission in iits or to the rest of the colleges this is uh, also from, one of the question asked by us from je advance exam we get uh, admission in iits that's we all know and uh, we get exam uh, admission in other college like uh, isc bangalore and iist which is which is direct from the uh, i isro jisme isro mein hoti admission direct so we have a very much opportunity by giving the advance okay so uh, the questions are uh, flooding in so i'll start taking questions the students want to ask you so the next yeah. up we have a question from sohal and he is asking i am not prepared well can you give some tips if you are not prepared well then um, just revise what you have written down in your notes and uh, uh, revise your uh, notes and uh, give exam what we should do like uh, if you re- uh, revise all which you have re- studied in the last year one year two year then it's uh, will be there will be con- you gain confidence and you can give your exam properly all so many questions are coming from direct from the notes and uh, all Okay, Shivam. So uh, here, I would like to know one more thing is, uh, you have a step of like reporting at the center after the mock yeah. seat allocation. So what all strategies or what all preparation did you do? Like all the documents, tenth, uh, twelfth mark sheet, and uh, J means admit card and uh, oh, results and the Aadhar card. This is like the job of mark. all the documents which you have filled in the j means process application process okay so so many of you are asking about we have got this much much this much marks and if i'll get this much percentile will will be able to get any rank or any college so okay i'm sharing a link here in the chat box it's basically a predictor tool you can you just need to write your rank and okay let me show you if i can okay i'll show you in a while 
so basically this is a predictor tool you can use it uh, to know which college you can apply based on your rankings okay coming back to you shivam yeah okay uh, we have several questions coming up so we have more questions related to josa counseling so i think we need to discuss more on that yeah so i think we should start from the first step what's the first step first you have to go to the portal and then do what then you have to register for the josa counseling and how this registration process goes on i uh, like uh, j- j- uh, when results are declared for the advance and uh, there we there are uh, we we get the news that uh, josa counseling are started in like 5 uh, to 6 days after the result declaration of the events so we have just go to the website and register yourself with your je main say uh, i think an application number and your password which you have uh, given in the application process okay just after clearing the je means are candidates able to attend this counseling yeah yeah ma'am. can attend and je uh, advance qualify clear karna zaruri nahi hai uske liye kyunki je means qualify karke hum nit and triple it ke liye counseling kar rahe okay so if you want to get admission in iit what mindset of what strategies we should follow a uh, form mein for which for what if we want to take admission in iits for which we have to clear uh, je advance Uh, like ma'am, abhi uh, we have two three days for J advance, so we just pull down yourself and uh, like J everyone says that J advance paper is very tough and all, so paper is really very tough. But uh, we have questions which is which is very easy and we can do this. So we have just select the questions and we should do that, which we know already. There is a negative marking, so we have to. मुझे मतलब हम लोगों को अपने उस नेगेटिव मार्किंग से बचाना होगा ओके सो वी हैव अनदर क्वेश्चन हियर सो वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट इज आस्किंग डस द रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर जोसा स्टार्ट आफ्टर जेई एडवांस रिजल्ट एंड इफ अ स्टूडेंट इज नॉट क्वालिफाइड इन जेई एडवांस व्हाट वुड बी द नेक्स्ट स्टेप सो लाइक जोसा काउंसलिंग व्हेन स्टार्ट द वी हैव शुड वी हैव टू रजिस्टर विद योर जेई मेंस application number and password when you register and uh, af- after registration you will get uh, like uh, if you are qualified in j advance then you get the list of iits and nits and triple iits but if you are not qualified in j advance so you will get the results of uh, nits and triple iits in which you can select your college and your branches okay so here i am seeing a question uh, one of the student has said uh whether this session is for je means or not this is related to the je counseling so of, of course it matters because of, even after the je means you can you are eligible to sit for the counseling yeah. for uh, other colleges not the iits right shivam am i right yeah okay. yeah yeah absolutely so with this i'll take up one more question uh let's take questions from the chat box kush has this question i have got 87 percentile still i am not getting uh the seat i guess this is what he want to ask like ma'am it's it's depend upon his uh, category and uh, like to which category he belongs oh he has mentioned obc so if you have any information regarding that please do guide he is qualified but i don't think um, i i don't think he get a, in a, a seat in an it or but he still can get seat in interval it or other right matlab top private colleges so he should he should uh, apply for triple it's and lower nits in lower branches okay so next up we have question from nitesh and he is asking what is strategy to attempt advanced paper so that he could get at least 100 marks like uh, first of all jo bhi subject uh, unka uh, strong ho like physics or chemistry or math he should start from there and uh, just pick the questions which you are confident and uh, attempt that after all like attempt the paper in three three round first uh, in which you are absolutely confident and after that uh, 
लाइक ऐसे क्वेश्चन होते हैं जिसमें हमें कुछ सोचना होता है कि हाँ ये हो तो जाएंगे बट सोचना पड़ेगा करना पड़ेगा तो उसको और सेकेंड राउंड में करना है और जो एकदम ही टफ लग रहे हैं उनको थर्ड राउंड में एक दो अगर हो जाए तो ठीक है नहीं तो फिर कोई दिक्कत नहीं फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद योर स्ट्रॉन्ग सब्जेक्ट ओके आई विल टेक अप वन मोर क्वेश्चन हिमानुषा हैज दिस क्वेश्चन एनी ट्रिक्स फॉर जेई एडवांस मे बी यू कैन ऐड सम डिफरेंट एंगल टू इट आर ट्रिक्स मैम आई डोंट नो मैम ट्रिक्स लाइक ही कैन लाइक कुछ क्वेश्चंस होते हैं जिसमें वो वन डिजिट आंसर फिल करने होते हैं तो उसमें हम ट्रिक्स ही कर सकते हैं कि लाइक like, हाँ uh, मैंने क्या किया था एक मैंने दो तीन क्वेश्चन नहीं आ रहे थे तो उसमें तो एक एक डाल दिया था सारे में तो मेरे एक उसमें से सही हो गए थे तो लाइक जो न्यूमेरिकल वाले क्वेश्चन से निगेटिव मार्किंग नहीं है तो उसमें हम लोग फिल कर सकते हैं कुछ भी रैंडम उसमें क्वेश्चन से दिख जाता है इसकी वैल्यू यहाँ से यहाँ हो सकती है तो उसके बीच का कुछ डाल सकते हैं वैल्यू सिंगल डिजिट अगर हो तो अदरवाइज इट्स वेरी रिस्की इन लाइक तुक्का मारना तो रिस्की होता है जी एडवांस में and he is asking what if he is not able to clear individual cut off so uh, overall can he consider that he'll be fail in overall exam is it yeah so- ma'am if he is yeah that's true ma'am if he will not uh, clear the cut off of individual subject uh, so he will not be qualified in the advance so uh, shivam still i uh, i want to ask on the behalf of the students please to guide yeah. us about the counseling procedure because what we have does we have does the counseling procedure superficially so please to guide us each and every step you have gone through like we have the uh, four stages in total five stages so please to explain each and every stages what five stages mean that means when we just go on the portal we register it and after that what we are supposed to do after that uh, we get the list of the college which are eligible like we have cleared the j advance so we get the list of all the college like iits and iits triple iits and other college and if we didn't clear the j advance so we get the uh, list of the college like uh, neat nit and uh, nit triple iits and other uh, college so we just need to select the college like we can what we can do like uh, go to the josa uh, shiksha website and we you can see the cut off like which are college you are eligible so just uh, ek kuch percentile upar and kuch percentile niche tak ye sare college ko aap fill kar de usme apni preference ke hisab se like you are interested in, in this branch and this college so usko preference ke upar rakhna hai so it's all you 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 need to do, and after that the mock seat allotment will be going on, and you will get the like roughly idea which college and which branch you will get. So you can change the after the mock seat allotment, you can change the order. Like if you are getting this branch and this college, you are not satisfied with that, you can down that, and you can update other branches and colleges in in your in your preference. So that's all. and if you get the like if you submitted the data and uh, after the first round you cannot modify your list like uh, you want to change the other thing so you cannot do that so just careful by filling your branches and colleges okay uh, shivam i have one question uh, during this mock seat allocation can a candidate ch- change his or her choice for uh, the college yeah after the mock seat allotment there are two three days like after the mock seat allotment too we have two three days to change our preference and other things so i'm sharing a link in the chat box you guys can have a look at it it has all the details related to the josa counseling and it has all the important dates which you guys will be required to know after the je advance examination uh, it has all the details related to registration eligibility and the seat allotment okay let me share a few more details here and even if you want to have more details on the j advanced counseling dates and seat allotment even the number of the seats per colleges you can have a look at this link as uh, though i can see so many questions here i'm glad that you guys are very much curious to know it of course you will be even after the webinar you can ask your questions here i'm sharing a link in the chat box please have a look even after the webinar if you guys have any questions 
don't hesitate just pour your questions here and our subject expert and and even the shivam will be able to reply here you can see already so many students have asked questions and even the subject experts have replied here so similarly even you can do it shivam welcome back yeah sorry i am for internet connection okay so yes we were talking about the counseling procedure yeah so yes what was the last step you were saying like uh, mock seat allotment and all so i want i want to clarify that if you are uh, if you, uh, first round is ra first round is starting for the jaisa josa counseling so you cannot modify your preference and college or branches so just be careful while you are choosing the college and branches okay now i'll start taking up questions one by one the student want to ask you so the next step we have question from yash and he is asking how is the life at nit and iit about the nit you can you can surely check our shiksha website because we have the review of the colleges there as well but for the iit i am sure that shivam can share some insight on this life in iit is very good obviously ma'am uh here you can get opportunity for everything like if you have any dream or if you have any anything you want to do like dancing singing or anything uh in your career or study yeah, in your i uh, if you want to do your research or anything you can do anything here so just that's very fun. very good man okay so next up we have question from teja and uh... he is asking about uh wait a sec and yes no this question is from bala arjun and he is asking uh he is from obc category what would be the good rank to get into top iits particularly for the computer science engineering branch like if you want to get in top 7 iits computer science then i think you must be under 2000 rank in top 7 iits Yeah, otherwise you can get the uh, la, other IITs like uh, IIT Mandi, IIT Manipur in lower rank like three thousand, three three thousand five hundred. So next up we have question from Sohal and he is asking: Is sixty marks good enough to get selected in uh, IIT? Maybe he is yeah. asking about per subject. I, like ma'am uh, if you talk about the cut off so it's very but uh, if you get 60 to 80 marks you will be you will cut you will be passed in j advance you will qualify for uh, for josa counseling in iits but i don't think 60 or 80 marks you will get iits or good iits okay so next up we have a question from shipra and she is asking in case if she will not get the computer science engineering in top 7 college shall she should go for ece in top 7 or cse in the rest of the iit like uh, he can change his branch his or her, her branches uh, like uh, if you get ec or other other branches in iits you have chance to you have chance to change your branch from uh, lower branches to upper branches if you get good cgp in your college like uh, many many student from my branch uh, get in um, my branch is engineering and physics they get into csc or ec if you have, you have to uh, minimum cgp like if you get to minimum cgp like uh, 8 or 9 you will be qualified for csc if you can change but you like you have to study hard for that because everyone is studying very hard for changing his branch after that it's very normal okay so i can see uh, several questions but uh, let's take the shravan's question and he's asking uh, what could be the minimum rank to get selected in the new iits minimum rank which category mein there is no any specific category so in general you can consider like uh, students can get iits like uh, there are girls in my in my branch who get iits he is still not qualified in iits but he get iits like they are in sc category so they will get 
इट्स लाइक ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी थाउजेंड रैंक तक आई टीज मिल जाते हैं बट इफ यू आर जनरल एंड यू आर थिंकिंग अबाउट गुड आई टीज सो फाइव थाउजेंड और सिक्स थाउजेंड इन एफ ओके ओके uh so so many of you are asking about if we'll get this much percentile if we'll get this much cut off or the rank then which college we will be able to get so why not to use this tool so i am sharing a link in the chat box it is much easier to use you just need to click on this uh link and it will lead you to a platform where you can just feed the rank let's say the 5000 and which college you will be able to apply in so you will get all the details that's more easier than rather just asking if i'll get 79.8 percentile or something like this so just try it out and even if you're not getting your if you're not getting your questions rectified then you can post it here okay coming back to the another question uh theek hai so we have again question related to the percentile shivam vinod jain jain has this question uh, his percentile is 93 and rank is somewhere around 59500 which branch or nit can he join any guidance from this and which category ma'am uh, like that he has a most of it branches and uh, category that's very huge amount of data so i didn't remember see he or she can uh, prefer the website of siksha like if he want to ek exact uh, criteria what he get he what he what he or her uh, eligible but i can say roughly about that as shivam said that you can refer to uh, siksha portal i'll just share the link here you can have a look at it and you will get the all details i have shared the link in the chat box Let's take another question. Has been asked by the Dhavle, and he is asking, "What is the closing rank?" Closing rank. That's a very vague question, rank. I know. But uh, during at that time, based on your experience, uh, when the selection for the IIT is just uh, the counselling, just to stop it. Closing rank for IIT is uh, for any category like twenty five thousand, I think. Twenty five to thirty thousand. Let's बट वही कैटेगरी के हिसाब से वो चेंज होता रहेगा जनरल्स के लिए जनरल बॉयज के लिए होगा एट सेवन टू एट थाउजेंड गर्ल्स के लिए फिर वो जनरल गर्ल्स के लिए हो जाएगा टेन थाउजेंड फिर ओबीसी एस सी थोड़ा मतलब एक्सटेंड होता रहेगा ओके सो पार्थ हैज दिस क्वेश्चन कैन आई गेट अ गुड एन आई टी और आई आई टी सॉरी ट्रिपल आई टी विद नाइनटी सेवन परसेंट आई इन जेई मेन्स विद जनरल कैटेगरी एनी आइडिया शिवम yeah he can get a very good uh, triple it and he can get uh, like uh, middle and it is top and it is to nahi mil sakti sir but he can get middle it is middle and it is with good branch okay okay so let's take up another question and it has been asked asked by rigas and he's asking what is the minimum rank in je advance for getting selected in top iits with general category Uh, for girls uh in general you can say for top 7 uh, iits uh, like 5 uh, to 6000 rank general ke liye uh, like uh, every year uh, every year seat uh, will get uh, increased so i think there will be 7 to 8 yeah 9000 tak Okay, so the next next up we have question from Shipra and she is asking in case uh, the branch change is not taken into consideration in ECE in top seven, better than the CSE in second and the third generation triple uh, sorry uh, IIT. Uh, I Did I repeat think... the question? Yeah. Yeah, Shipra is asking in case the branch change is not taken into consideration, is ECE in top seven better than the CSE in second and the third generation IIT. Ah, uh, ma'am, it's depend upon the perspective what he wants, what yeah, what she wants. Like uh, if you are uh, like uh, to in top seven IIT, we have lots of benefits. Like uh, we get a good atmosphere and we have a good culture. After that, you you have culture and everything. But uh, top seven IITs are. I think if I was the person we have 
लगा मुझे चूज करना था तो मैं टॉप सेवन आईटीज में चूज करता हूं ऑफ कोर्स इवन यू हैव चूजन दैट ओके ओके सो नेक्स्ट अप वी हैव क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सोहेल एंड ही इज आस्किंग आईआईटी सिलेक्शन फॉर द आईआईटी सिलेक्शन व्हिच वन इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट कॉमन रैंक और द ओबीसी रैंक ओबीसी रैंक ऑब्वियसली so we are getting so many questions in the chat box now i'll take a few questions from the chat box okay uh, so we have question can we change branches in nits like we can in iits uh, i think there is option for change in branches in nits but uh, in iits uh, in every iits there is chance, uh, there is option to change the branches in first year or first semester but i think uh, there is uh, option to change the branch in nits but i am not sure okay uh you, you can guys... check the website of iits you will get the information okay uh we have another question and this question has uh, has been asked by one of the student and uh, he's asking want to get into computer science in iit or nit uh, with the common ranking is being uh 10339 je mains so is it possible for that person to get admission in computer science stream in iit or nit nit is ma'am computer science to mil sakta but abhi je advance ka result nahi aaya to maybe he will he will do good in je advance so he will get the csc in iit so it's depend upon the result of je advance and he can get the csc in nit by this rank Okay, uh, Shivam, do you have any idea about the PWD category? Then I'll take up this question. Though it's I related think, to the yeah. okay, okay. Like uh, I can see roughly, but uh, okay. he or she can check the website. Of course, for for the final uh, notification and yeah. everything, one should check the website every now and then. Okay. Yeah. So I like take... one of my friend in PWD. He get to CSC in IIT Guwahati by just sixty uh, ranks in J advance last year. So okay. this is roughly idea for PWD category. Okay. Next up, I'll take up another question. So uh, uh, it it so the question is like that. I got four thousand rank in J mains, and I'm not getting CSC in top four in IIT. Shall I go for Triple IIT Delhi CSE or MNIT Jaipur CSE? Like first of all, I want to say him that uh, he should uh, prefer for J Advance. Like uh, he should focus on J Advance. He will get us. Uh, maybe he will get a uh, good uh, good IIT for CSE. And uh, if he he not uh, he not uh, satisfied with the IITs, uh, his rank or anything, so he should uh, prefer. Uh, If his branch, I mean, his preference is CSE, so he can choose the NITs in which he get CSE. Okay, what I can see from all the questions and the chats, uh, that people are very much worried about the rank and the seat they'll be whether they'll be getting in IIT or NIT. I like ma'am one thing I want to tell that uh, if you are you should not be worried at this at this time for your J seat rank or anything. You just calm your calm down yourself and uh, prepare for. Me, cool down yourself for J advance and give your exam. After that, you can think about means rank advance anything. Uh, though we are getting mixed type of questions, so let's take a few. Okay, Shivam. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so one of the question is like this: How much fee is uh, there for the counselling? Uh, at uh, at the time I I was in that position, so there was thirty five thousand for the fees for fix for fix the seat. Okay, for the counselling you are saying that was thirty five thousand fees. You are not audible now. Am I audible now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am asking. Uh, you had to pay thirty five thousand during the counselling. No, when you get the seat and uh, for fix the that seat, you have to pay thirty five thousand. Okay. maybe that will increase in at this time but maybe that will remain same okay uh, so this question was like that for the counseling do student need to pay anything there was some registration fees like i think 1000 or something like this 
for uh, registration and all and after that you get the seat you have to pay 35 okay okay uh, the next step we have a question when should we submit latest caste certificate and by what time uh, i have no idea ma'am i think okay no problem uh, uh whosoever has asked this question i'll be sharing a link in the chat box and you can just check a, check on it and you will just get the answer to it let's take up uh, another question sachida nand has this question how to attempt maths paper in je advance as it is generally tough so what's your experience is like if you are in the exam hall so like i previously said that uh, first start with the strong subject of which you are your strong subject like physics chemistry or maths so start with that and start the easy questions like if you attempted the 20% of the advanced paper you have confidence like you you will you will cut off easily you can cut off the you can cross the cut off marks so if you are attempted 20% questions and after that you will get confidence that i am going to clear the cut off so you can attempt all the other questions even which you think like i can do this so like this way pehle aapko confidence gain karna hai fir aapko usme attempt karna hai aur negative marks se to bach ke rehna hai kyunki usme to bahut dikkat hai agar like we have plus 4 and minus 2 marks uh, minus 2 negative marks so just uh, aware of that and read the question paper carefully like every year question uh, paper pattern changes so you have to uh, read the question paper carefully very very much like uh, exam after exam we uh, every year i see like two three student who he didn't read the question paper properly and he did the mistake like i i didn't read the question paper i minus one and minus two everything with this let's take up another question which one is more better more uh, more better triple it delhi or dtu i think dtu is more preferable from my perspective okay so uh, this question uh, has been asked by one of the student how to get into iit bombay under obc category for the computer science engineering branch any idea on this shivam how to get uh, you have to uh, score good marks in j advance so you will get a uh, seat in iit bombay cc okay for the preparation tip uh, shivam you must have done something in j advance for the during the preparation which yeah. helped you to get this opportunity to take admission in iit what I what like, would be that tips and trick in the last 2 3 days that you did last 2 3 days ma'am like uh, we gave lots of mock test and uh, test in your coaching or anything anywhere so we did lot lots of mistakes there so just uh, we also do that revise that mistake and we matlab humko sochna hai ki hum ye mistakes nahi karne paper mein jo bhi humne pehle kar rakhe hain like humne question acche se nahi padha ya yahan pe calculation mistake sab log mistakes karte hain to unko kam se kam karna hai baki to fir sab sahi hai और टू थ्री डेज लास्ट के टू थ्री डेज में कुछ भी नया नहीं पढ़ना कि हाँ ये पढ़ लें जो पढ़ा है उसको रिवाइज कर लें और जो गलतियां करते आए हैं पूरे साल भर उसको नहीं करना बस ओके सो शिवम एट दिस पॉइंट शुड बी प्रैक्टिस द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर हिमानुषा हैज दिस क्वेश्चन आई डोंट थिंक मैम एट दिस टाइम वी शुड प्रैक्टिस द क्वेश्चन पेपर जस्ट वॉट यू हैव प्रैक्टिस्ड जस्ट रिवाइज दैट थिंग Uh, don't do the new questions so next up we have question from shalini and she is asking what's the window of submission of document from the date seat is assigned do you have to do it in person or does a student need to be at the college during the submission of documents i at at the my time i um, we have to submit online because the covid thing so i i think at this time we you should go to uh, you go to the college and submit your documents like there are seven zones of it is like where you need to submit the your documents your preferred zone okay 
with this i'll take up another question what are the documents are uh, required for the counseling and this has been asked by piyush for documents i told that uh, 10th 12th mark sheet uh, admit card and results aadhar card and other other things like income tax uh, and other things uh, you can check the website of siksha you can you will get there the clear information from there let me show you a screen here just do let me know whether it's visible or not shivam please do guide me is it visible yeah ma'am it's visible okay so so many students are asking about the documents so you can see that what is josa and uh, uh, related to the highlights and the counseling uh, schedule so so many other things see all the dates you can see it here even the eligibility criteria and what is going to be the procedure okay and even you can see you have to get your yourself registered filling the choices locking of choices seat allocation document verification and yes you were talking about what all documents would be required so these all the facts are covered here see the documents required for iits so you need to have all these documents shivam is it correctly said here yeah ma'am absolutely yes so you just need to need all these documents yes so i will stop sharing here and i am sharing a link to this page with everybody okay let's start taking another question so we have question from rigas and he is asking should i go to vit velour pursuing triple e or should i presume lower branches in nit trichy uh, i think he is i don't think i mean it's depend upon his choices and uh, his preference so like what he want to do in college like uh, good placement research or anything so he should uh, choose from that preference i can see a question of sanjay and name of the college other than josa ah uh, so josa is not a college ma'am yes josa is not a college it's a college sanjay it's joint seat allocation authority who is responsible yes. to you know manage and regulate seat allocation for admission and the counseling am i correct shivam yeah ma'am okay with this let's just start taking another question uh riddhi has this question when document verification is done so maybe you can tell us at which stage at at that matlab uh, you are asking for time maybe at a particular stage you can tell even uh, after the mock seat allocation or something like that when we need to just submit it after the uh, like uh, when you get the seat like if you get seat in first round so you will get you will get the time for 7 to 8 days for submitting the data of your everything which you are required for submitting i think they will uh, they will tell you that what you need to submit here so just but uh, some documents are uh, like we ek do din mein nahi ban sakte to unko pehle se banwa ke rakhna hota so i can see parth has this question which is the one of the commonly asked question can anyone change their category certificate from general to obc in josa counseling there is any problem during the document verification uh, i don't think ma'am ki change kar sakte kyunki jo je mains mein hum log bharte hain wahi je advance mein bhi hota hai aur wahi je josa counseling mein bhi fill hota hai auto fill hota hai plus apne fill nahi karna hota hum logo ko ऑटो फिल होके ही आता है बस कुछ चीजें जो होती है जो फिल करनी होती है यस बट फॉर द कैटेगरी सर्टिफिकेशन एज पर माय नॉलेज व्हाट आई नो इज दैट शिवम प्लीज डू गाइड मी इफ आई एम करेक्ट और रॉन्ग यू जस्ट गाइड मी इफ यू जस्ट फेल टू शोकेस योर कैटेगरी सर्टिफिकेशन ड्यूरिंग द काउंसलिंग यू विल ऑटोमेटिकली बी कंसीडर्ड एज अ जनरल कैटेगरी इज दिस द या या इट्स करेक्ट सो पार्ट यस दैट्स द आंसर टू योर क्वेश्चन लेट्स टेक अप मोर क्वेश्चंस Okay so Himanusha has this question how many marks should i get for the civil engineering in iit bombay or rank for st category any idea shivam uh, roughly idea for s for civil engineering i think uh, 2000 yeah i don't think 2000 rank yeah so he can refer the website of siksha 
Okay, next up we have another question from Sandeep and he's asking is triple IIT Guwahati is best alternative of IIT uh, for computer science if I don't get into IIT CS. So uh, basically he's asking about is triple IIT Guwahati is better if he'll not get into IIT CS. What I know, ma'am, that the Triple IIT Hyderabad, Triple IIT Bangalore are the best college after the IITs. After the two three IITs, top IITs, the Triple IIT Hyderabad and Triple IIT Bangalore are the college he should consider. Okay. Next up, we have a question. I have qualified J mains and I am SC candidate. So, is there is there any chance to get into NIT, DTU, or Triple IIT? Yeah, you, there is chance, ma'am. Like, uh, what is his percentile? If he get like 80, 82 percentile, he will get the lower NITs. Or he can check the website and uh, predict his rank or college. Quickly take some more questions. Again, it's related to the rank. Uh, Shivam, you can just roughly guide us. Has been asked by Aditya. Uh, his J my his J main rank is eighty six thousand, and he is from open category. Which college should he take? From an yeah. IITs. Uh, I don't think, ma'am. I, okay. I have. Uh, uh, as Aditya, I would like to say here is that I have shared a link of the predictor tool. Uh, previously in the chat box if you will just click on it you just feed the 86,000 so you will have a whole lot of list of colleges uh, which you are you which you will be able to uh, apply in so that will help you for sure okay with this uh, let's start taking up another question okay so how how many marks should I get for the civil engineering in IIT Bombay or rank for the ST category? Any idea for the civil engineering? Like for ma'am, open category, I think under 1000 rank are needed. Uh, you can predict like from general to OBC, from OBC to ST. I have no idea ma'am. And uh, and uh, if you guys wish to have more updates on the josa counseling or the upcoming webinars related to it make sure that you subscribe to our social media platforms because we just keep on updating it every day so you can have a look at it considering the time left i'm sharing a poll here so that we could just understand whether this webinar was helpful to you or not so the first question is like, was this session helpful? Please say your answer in a yes or no. And the second question is like, uh, how likely is that you would recommend Siksha Counseling webinar to your friends? So you can, you have the ranking from one to 10. 10 is being extremely likely and one is being not at all likely. Okay, meanwhile, we can take a few more questions, Shiva. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, the next question we have, what is the perfect strategy to handle JOSA counseling? Perfect strategy. I think uh, there are simple ways, like uh, if you clear the J advances, you don't hesitate Shivam. like... Uh, uh, Shivam, here I would like to intervene. What you did when you just cleared the J advance, what you did for the JOSA counseling, that would be more helpful. What I did when, like when I cleared the J1, so I get the rank and everything. So just uh, search for the everything like what I need to do. And uh, what I did, uh, I registered for the, I registered on the website. And I asked a few of my seniors, like I prepared from the quota. So I asked them what I need to do. And like everyone is, sabko dar lagta hai ki kahin kuch galat na ho jaye. Phir to wahi. Mujhe bhi dar lag raha tha. To, lekin simple hai. Kuch jada isme ghabrani ki baat nahi. Like, just register yourself on JOSA and carefully choose your college and branch. And just carefully. And after that, you will get mock seat allotment. And if you find that this branch or this call seat are not for me, and you can change that. Just these are things are like you. Like your whole preparation, if you like, you you have done something for two years, three years, and if it's bad, then it's wrong. 
तो इसमें आपको केयरफुल रहना लेकिन घबराना नहीं है आपको लाइक like, अभी और भी वेबिनार होंगे जिसमें हम लोग बताएंगे शिक्षा मतलब कैसे आपको जो सा काउंसलिंग में बैठना है क्या करना है सो so, आपको अपडेट मिलती रहेगी and here i would request all the attendees to please uh, please his or her poll so that we could understand whether this webinar was helpful in a way to you or not so that we just plan another josa comes uh, josa webinar uh, and yes that would be fruitful for you as well and for us okay with this let's take up another question has been asked by sujeet and he is asking i have got 48000 rank in my state engineering entrance exam and 83000 in je mains should he prefer a lower branch in triple its or top branch and college in state level uh fir mam depend karta hai unke preference ke upar like what i think uh, he should choose top branches in his state state colleges लाइक इफ इन इन ट्रिपल आई टीज लोअर ब्रांचेज इन लोअर ट्रिपल आई टीज लोअर ब्रांचेज आर नॉट वेरी गुड ओके लेट्स टेक अप क्विकली टेक अप अनदर क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ट बाय अरुण धती वॉट शुड बी माई पर्सन टाइल एंड रैंक इफ आई वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉप नेक्स्ट ईयर बिकॉज वाई शी सेंग दैट बिकॉज हर रैंक इज नाइंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन इन जनरल कैटेगरी फीमेल for the jee mains will she be for able drop. to get any college uh, like for drop in for next year ma'am one okay. most important thing is uh, are you matlab aap utta study karne ke liye taiyar hona chahiye aap ek bar pehle padh ke dekho ki aap 10 15 din daily 8 9 ghante padh pa rahe ho ki nahi what i suggest everyone who ask me for the repeat or for take a drop Like uh, you get at least ninety, eighty, ninety percent, eighty-five or ninety percent, and you have to study very hard. Like if you are in general, you should, like you should get ninety-nine uh, or uh, above percentile for good uh, NITs and good IITs. Ah, uh, very less time is left now. I quickly start taking more questions. Siddhant has this question, though it seems repetitive. uh shivam has already answered to it but uh, you have added csc to it okay i'll say the question shivam uh yeah. should i go into lower level nit or triple it or a good private college for the computer science engineering like uh, if you want to study hard like you can get into lower lower branches of nit and you can change your branches and uh, or uh, it's a uh, depend upon his preference he want to study or not in the college if he didn't want to study then he can take private college like in lower nit in lower branches there is no meaning of that okay uh okay we can see you bhagwa is spamming so let's check this question uh, he has got uh under the ews category 71000 rank can he get any nit college or any other he, college he can get an uh, lower nits and uh, he can also get uh, triple its with the ec and other branches okay considering the time uh, shivam i would request you to uh, share any words if you want to share the people who have attended this webinar i just want to say that uh, just calm down yourself and uh, give your best in the exam which are on 27th of Yes. So just I want to say best of luck to everyone. One last question I'll take. Farhan Qureshi has this question. Uh, can I get admission in NIT or Triple IIT at eighty to eighty-five percentile with OBC category? Yeah, he can get uh, lower NITs. Man. Lower NITs, uh, middle branches like civil and chemical. It is. And thank you so much, Shivam, for guiding us and clearing our doubts. Yeah thank you ma'am thank you everyone for joining this session and best of luck to everyone and because of the time constraint if i haven't been able to answer your queries then don't forget that you can actually ask your question even after the webinar uh click or clear sorry click on the link i'm sharing in the chat box and even after the webinar you can ask your queries there here's the link in the chat box please do please do check 
and to the students thank you so much to all of you for being part of this session and with this i am shilpa signing off till then take care and keep checking our portal for the upcoming webinars and all the very best for the je advance thank you all the best guys don't forget to like share and subscribe our youtube channel